Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Round Man 951 Here bringing you just a little fun video Um, cause I really don't have any, um, games or uh, any new stuff to review So this is just like a little random video I wanna do, um, real quick I guess So, uh, today was like my last day of school Or, not last day of school, but like, uh, last day Like finals week and all that stuff, so Now I'm like officially on winter break I guess and um, picked up some nice little things from the thrift store, even the 99 cent store, and uh, picked up a little game from GameStop. Just wanted to kind of do a little video and show you some neat little stuff I got. So I guess for the first thing we'll start off is with the little thrift store pickup. So uh, nothing really crazy, just some basic stuff I've been um, needing or wanting. So here we have is like a little fancy uh, uh, auxiliary cord, and if you don't know what that is, basically it's the <clears throat> little um you know cord that you use to plug in your uh for instance say you have like a music player so you would plug that in where the uh, earphones would go and then it has the other side which is just exactly like that side that would be plugged into the to the uh music player or phone or whatever and you could plug it into like say a, a stereo um, most of the time, you know, you guys use this for the cars, which, which is why I picked this one up. Because I actually picked one up from the 99 cent store like a couple months back, and I barely got to using it, and the thing didn't work for crap. Like, you, it plugged in, but it just didn't have a strong connection, and you could barely hear the sound on it. It just sounded really bad. Um, wasn't even worth a dollar, so. I, I was really looking to pick up one at Walmart, which is probably going to be like an easy $10 purchase. Um, for an aux cord that probably sucks and uh, <clears throat> instead I just decided to go to my local thrift store and uh, look for some stuff uh, I was looking for some uh, red green and blue um, RGB cables because I need some for a VCR DVD player and um, I also found a nice little printer USB cable because those are also like ten dollars and up at you know anywhere so I only have one too, so it doesn't hurt to have another. They're pretty useful actually, because I'm always looking for the one I, uh, only one I have. So I, I decided to pick one up since they had a couple. And um, then I saw this, I was like, whoa, because it's not like it's not like your um standard auxiliary cord. I don't know. I think this one's kind of old school because you know it has the regular auxiliary port, which goes to your um uh, music device or whatever. And it also has the uh, red and uh, white little cords that could go to like um say a boom box or something I think or or I tried doing it on the TV but I, I couldn't get to work on my TV so maybe I'm not doing it right but you know it's pretty cool it, it could be used on different kind of things too so I thought that was really cool and for the PC I mean for the USB um, printer cable the RGB cables and this auxiliary cord I picked up all for three dollars and twenty four cents. So, you know, if you guys are always looking for something real good price. So I recommend your local thrift store such as Goodwill, um, Salvation Army, or just a local, um, um, you know, uh, owner owned thrift store. That's what I went to, and the, those are usually the best sometimes. Um, but yeah, he that guy always ha he always has pretty good stuff. Um, you when you go in, you'll always find something. You'll come out, you know, you'll go. In, Go in looking for something, you'll come out with something that you don't really need or you might actually need. And I uh, got something I've been needing actually, so it was pretty good to have that. Um, and also after my finals, I went to um, GameStop. And I, I don't know why, but the other day I was thinking about Metroid Prime Hunters. And I was like, you know, that was a pretty pretty fun game back then when I had it. And I kind of wanted to relive it again, replay it. So I bought it today. A um, bit of a bit pricey for how old it is but you know um, it's whatever it was like a for me it was a $12 game after the taxes so I was like you know whatever I also decided to treat myself and get myself an early Christmas present and that was the um, <coughs> excuse me. kinda went big on this one and I got myself the limited edition Mortal Kombat X um, game for xbox one and i don't have an xbox one yet but i'm gonna be getting one pretty soon so i decided to pick that up i was kind of like in the process of getting it and like i was just 
I was just in the area where GameStop was. I was like, you know, what? I'm gonna go inside and see what they have. They had a couple things there, but nothing too crazy. Uh, they had like a Fallout 4 lunchbox, which is pretty cool, and I, I liked how it looked. But 20 bucks was a little steep for me for just a lunchbox that I wasn't going to really ever use. So it would be good as a gift, but I wouldn't have used it. Um, but yeah, I saw that. And apparently, where I where I live, um, it went on sale. Mortal Kombat X and probably some other games. So like the regular edition was like 30 bucks and it was like a, a regular $60 and the limited edition was a regular $100 and then um, on sales uh, $60 so I and the $60 one comes with like the right DLC and stuff like that stuff like that so I won't have to spend more money once I bought the game so I just decided to get the limited edition one and just go with that and I uh, kind of treated myself there so it's like my Christmas present for this year <clears throat> and um those are some of the big things I saved this one for last because this is um this is something I've actually been looking for for a while and I didn't know if I mean I knew they had it but I didn't know exactly if, um where I could find it basically what this is is like a tablet mobile folding stand so basically um as you can see in the pictures um it allows you to put your phone up to kind of you know have it like that and uh it's not really, I don't think it's really good for use as far as like using it for like typing and stuff. But what I would like to use it for is actually in my recordings. Because if you guys have been with me for a while, I was actually doing some um, Pokemon video playthroughs. And I uh, kind of lost interest in those early on, but that was because I didn't have a good stand. So I wasn't able to record that well for stuff. And now I have like a pretty cool stand now. Let's see here. I'm trying to figure out something. Because it has these little rubber bands, but I think that's just the take a holder thing. And let me show you how that goes. So I'll put it like this. See, now I have a stand. And what I was going to do to implement this thing to make it, you know, pretty cool. Let's see here. It won't work like that. It definitely won't work like that. It's too low. And I don't think it'll work like this, because in the I'll have to adjust the video. I think it'll work. Basically, what I want to do is um, you know, just take my Game Boy, turn this bad boy on, and uh, you know, I'll start doing playthroughs again. That'll be pretty cool, I think. Um, start getting some more um, videos on my channel, and uh, I think that'll be a pretty cool little thing to start doing. You know, kind of, it's kind of like what everybody does, but play some of the games I like to play. I got like, for instance, I got um, what you call it Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga on here right now. I have like some Metro games. Might also play some PSP games or something like that. You know, some games like that. So I thought that was pretty cool for 99 cents. I was like, might as well just pick it up because I've been looking for one. I just you know, didn't know where I was going to find one. So I was like, might as well pick it up. And that's what I did. So I mean, <clears throat> it does what it's supposed to do. Um, I think it's pretty cool. Pretty basic. Uh, let's see here. Let me see what those rubber bands are for. Because I have no idea, honestly. Because like, it has these little rubber bands and... I mean, probably what I would think is to hold in the phone. And then it has some here too. I'm guessing this is for, so it's like, gives it more friction so this doesn't go up and down like crazy. But as far as these go, I have no idea. Let's see here. It says, non-slip feet for perfect smart. Non-slip feet, perfect smartphone. It says, multi Multi-angle folding stands, holds your tablet, phone, rubber pads, and feet protect. Protect your device from scratching and sliding. Suitable for horizontal vertical use. Great for watching. Oh, so the, what is it called? Rubber pads, I guess <laughs> that's what that would be. So these are the rubber pads, and that prevents, you know, your phone from from uh, sliding around, you know, if it was bumped. It's not really gonna make a difference, but you know, I guess it helps. <clears throat> I mean, I already have a rubber case, so 
so that kind of helps you know grip my phone I like this Game Boy case a lot because how it's silicone and I, I prefer silicone cases over the hard cases because <clears throat> I'd rather them have grip and stick than you know be all um, kind of just you know where it's like this and they just slide everywhere so I guess these help you know grip your phone um, you know, it just makes this stand so it's pretty cool for 99 cents oh yeah see it's like the little wheel so it doesn't move around like crazy pretty cool it's very compact you know um, I guess you can make one yourself if you wanted but I saw it and I was like you know I'm gonna try it out so it's pretty easy to just push this up pull it together um, I think that goes in like that or something you see here I'm not too sure I'm not too sure honestly I, I just uh, this was messing with it. Oh, because it's there's two ways you could do it too. Let me see here. I'm not sure if I'm even doing this right. <clears throat> and this is like a different setting where it's like less less steep. So let me see how this one works. This looks pretty good. This might actually, yeah, this might be better for the recording because you know it gives you more gives me more of an out kind of look. Yeah, I mean, I could put something because right now my phone's sideways. So if I put like a little, for instance, I use my little pick, put that, put that on top of the pick. That'll give me a nice little, little um, thing to make it higher. Also, it's pretty cool. Definitely a stand I was looking for for a while. I just never got to looking for it. So again, it's a nice little thing. I picked this up at my little 99 cent store, the actual you know, 99 cent store. And, you know, they always have a bunch of junk that you could find that could be useful or just, you know, just be junk that you think is useful. Uh, pretty cool little pickup, I thought. And, uh, you know, um, stores away fairly easily. Um, just, you know, whatever. I guess I have no idea. Try to check it out. Yeah, I'm just like kind of experimenting with it, seeing like how it closes and all that. You know, closes like whatever. So I, it's pretty compact too. You know, it doesn't take up much room. So if you want to store it in the backpack or something, I mean, it's even good for like like what it says in its advertising. You know, just having a phone stand and watch videos, and it's it's pretty good for the iPads too, and you know, Android tablets. You know whatever you want so for 99 cents I'm like you know I couldn't pass that up I just picked that up so that was a little fun video for you guys um definitely want to try out a recording video on that and see how that goes that should be pretty fun and uh yeah guys I think it's gonna be it for me so I hope you enjoyed that till next time guys peace